I want to apologize a little bit. I feel like I've been letting myself down and you down lately. I've said things and made promises and commitments and basically ignored them. And I feel that my word is, means more than that. So for one, I'm going to weigh in today. I won't be able to use this weigh in for my the diet bet just because I don't have someone to take a picture of me. It's a few days into the diet bet, so you guys can still join with me. If you haven't, we just need to lose 4% a little bit quicker than everyone else doing it, and which we can. Let's do that first, and then we can talk a little bit more. So here it is. 293. As you can see, I have gained weight, but the thing that sucks is at the beginning of this week, I was at like 284, 283. So this week I've gained like 10 pounds. I've just been eating super poorly uh, with graduation and all the parties and things we've had. That is going to stop. I'm actually really excited for this summer. I was going to go to sell alarm systems, but I just wasn't feeling super good about it. Um, one, because it's not a product that I think everybody needs. I think a lot of people need it, but when you're a salesman, you have to convince yourself that everyone needs it. And otherwise, you're not going to really make the money that you need. And so I have another job opportunity. It's more of a self-employment kind of opportunity. The next few months are going to be an exploratory time for me. Um, my degree that I got was, I got it so that I could go to law school and I decided I'm not going to do that right now. So I really have no idea what I want to do. What are you going I'm just going to film oh, all hi. the cute babies. What, Number one, oh, cute baby. Well, okay. And Mike's cute, cute baby. Eden, such a cute baby. She's like the little pretty princess. She's awesome. What do you think? Can you tell her your name? Look at it. Oh my goodness. It's Eden. Can you say Eden? That's Eden. We're here at Andy's party because he graduated too uh, with his family. Had some steak and stuff and a piece of brownie, which I shouldn't have had. But this is my last day. Every nothing right, after today. Uh, gonna go back on diet. You've done the last days before. He loves it. I have. <laughs> have you ever done the last day and then not done it? <laughs> so, but I'm gonna keep my word, or I'll be a liar. You can find out tomorrow. Well, I'm gonna go work out. I'm, I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna go run out in the rain, or because I love it. Doing something extra hard makes it seem better like being able just to just go run in the rain. I can go to the gym right now and run on the treadmill or I could go run somewhere cool in the rain. I mean it smells great, it's cold and it'll be wet but I just really want to do like a crazy run today and get like something in because I'm not necessarily proud of my past health performances lately. I've had school and I've had to like do a lot of that stuff but there's always going to be things in your life that have a reason not to be healthy. I want to stop having excuses. Guys, yeah, to the top of the hill. I'm not stopping. It's gorgeous, but sometimes it's hard to enjoy the beauty when you're dying. I won't give up on us, even if the skies get rough. See, the skies are rough, but I'm not giving up. <laughs> it's a great view if you can pay attention to it. Here are the mountains. Power station isn't the best, but you can see more mountains over there. Utah Lake. The beautiful overcast sky. I like overcast a lot of times. I don't know why. It's just, yeah, I do. So I've gone over three miles and probably two miles away from home. So I'm at least gonna go five miles. We'll see if I can go longer than that. But it's misting a little bit. It's like a little bit of mist in the air and it's blowing against me. It feels good, but it's like doing a lot of resistance. <laughs> Miles, about a 12 minute mile average. 
pretty good. I don't know what else I can do, but it's pretty good so far. Amazing color. I don't know if I've ever seen a color like that. Are those lilacs? I think they're lilacs. Five miles under an hour, 59 minutes. That last mile was like 11.50. So I'm gonna try and do one more mile. Get a cool 10K in, NBD. Got six miles, 6.15 miles, so 0.5 off of a 10K. But I'm gonna walk around the block. The other day when I did six miles, I didn't realize it was a 10K. But that sounds way cooler than just six miles. My legs are super wobbly today. It really takes a toll on you. If you're like eating healthy and exercising regularly, when you do something like this, it's it's hard, but this last week, it was been like graduation week, finals, parties and stuff, and I sort of let things go a little bit. And today was really hard. I burned 661 calories. 1,600, yeah, 1,661 calories. But I'm gonna start doing this every other day because I want to get ready for the June, middle of June marathon, uh, half marathon. Um, now that I'm staying here in Provo, not going to Kentucky, I'm gonna be able to do that. If any of you are planning on doing that or want to, message me and I'd love to do that together. I think it'll be a lot more fun that way. Thanks to Randy for letting me use the Camelback. I think I'm gonna buy one. Having just a little bit of water in your mouth, you know, little sips here and there. Just, it didn't change necessarily how well I was able to do it. It was a lot more enjoyable, if that makes sense. I really wanted to do six miles today too, just to do something hard and know that I'm still capable of doing that. And I'm glad that I can be in a mental state where I can do this. We just had Red Robin, it was really great. Um, Andy and I had like a lettuce wrap, and it was actually amazing. I wrapped my burger with lettuce. Lettuce? Like haggis. Yeah, but it was lettuce, it was lettuce. So I got sweet potato fries, so it was a healthier option. But not by much, it's still fried. We just watched Batman, and I need to be a superhero, and we all know which one I want to be. That right there is Batman. And he's becoming Batman. I want Gotham Today, so I'm starting the diet bet and I'm gonna start doing amazing. I made some hard choices, and but I'm gonna stay here in Provo this summer instead of going to Louisville, Kentucky. And I think it'll be the best choice. There's a lot went into making this choice. I just have to be really good about my time and working hard here. I'm excited for this summer, and you guys are going to see some great things. This is my summer to become Superman. After this summer's over, maybe almost there. If you want to continue with me, continue to watch and subscribe. And you can see more of these videos. Like this video if you liked any part of it. And I love you guys. I'm so thankful that you are here with me, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.